Hey guys, welcome back to another iOS development tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about CocoaPods versus Swift Package Manager and why I actually like using Swift Package Manager more than CocoaPods. So in this um, this one I'm just going to be using FS Calendar as an example since it has both CocoaPods installation and a FS Calendar, I mean Swift um, Package Manager installation. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to import both and why I believe Swift Package Manager is a lot better, it's faster and easier. So let's do the CocoaPods one first. Now to import something to CocoaPods we just create the Xcode project and I'll just call this FX Calendar Demo. Oh I said F A calendar demo and like that and I'll just create that there so now if I go to where it's located inside of there and now we can navigate to where it is here so inside of documents slash xcode slash youtube um, slash um, fs calendar demo oh why has it not worked oh I spelled documents wrong that was why and then CD Xcode. If you want to do it step by step like this, then you can also do this. Um, and then we just go FS Calendar Demo. So now that we're inside, we create the pod file using pod in it. And this creates the pod file here. Now inside of this, we can just go here and add the pod. So in the CocoaPod installation, most actually a lot of older things don't have the Swift Package Manager but when they do I'd recommend using it since it's a lot quicker and um, easier to implement so now that that's in we can just save that and run a pod install and that's all we have to do so now we actually don't can't use the normal Xcode project we have to use the XC workspace which is basically like a collection and it's just going to ask us to update to recommended settings Okay, so this is the this is how you add it in. In um, this is how you add it from a CocoaPods. Now I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to add it using Swift Package Manager. So if I create a new project and I'll just close this and I'll open this like this. Now I'm going to show you guys how to add it into Swift Package Manager. So first, let's just create a project again and demo, let me call it SPM and we'll just click create so now we don't actually have to navigate through terminal or anything like that all you have to do is go to file uh, Swift packages, add package dependency and then we have to copy this URL here and we paste that in click next and just keep it as this, you'll see that it's 2.8.3 and here's 2.8.2 but we can just leave how it is I believe and um, and I will click next and if you just wait for a bit it should be done and now you just click finish and that's it and you also notice that it's um, it's a more in integrated process since CocoaPods is an external dependency whereas this is internal um, so now I can just use this just like that, like FS Calendar. But yeah, so this I like using Swift Package Manager more since you can do it a lot quicker. It's more integrated since it's built directly into Xcode, and um, many new things do support it now. So for my Explore and CocoaPods series, I might start doing it from just um, Swift Package Manager. So I'm still be looking at uh, CocoaPod things, but I won't be important it from CocoaPods when I can if that makes any sense so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye